Okay, hi there. So I'm going to be talking about getting your Sapper project set up with Tailwind CSS. And I'm basically just going to follow this GitHub repo. So you can do that on your own if you want, but if you'd rather watch a video, you can follow along with me. So here I am at Tailwind CSS setup examples, and you'll see they've got one for Svelte if you just want to use Svelte, and they've also got one for Sapper. So I'm going to do Sapper. Um, but the first thing you're going to have to do is create our Sapper project. So here, sapper.svelte.dev, you can see how to set it up. And I've already run those commands, and I've got my Sapper project running here on localhost 3000. Um, so you can do that. Okay, so first thing we need to do is install Tailwind CSS to our Sapper project and post CSS CLI. So I'm going to come here and stop it, and then paste in that. Oops. So now it is running. That might take a bit. Um, and then we're also going to want to install the purge CSS as well so that um, it takes away the CSS that we're not using. And since Felt is all about having small bundle sizes, we're going to want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste that in and run that. Okay, so once that is done, we are going to make a tailwind.js config file, and they have a command you can run for that. So let me open this up in Visual Studio Code. Make that bigger. And then I'm going to run this. So instead of doing dot slash uh, node module slash dot bin slash tailwind, you can just do npx tailwind if you'd like. Init tailwind.js. I think I did that right. Yeah. Okay, so it creates the tailwind config file like that. And then we're going to have to copy and paste this into postcss.config.js. So I'll just vim that postcss.config.js and press I and then command paste it in and then escape button colon wq enter. Uh, you can also come here and just add the file manually like that. Okay, next thing is we'll need to create a static slash tailwind.css and it says you have to put it in the static folder. So we will do that. So come here, add a file. Um, tailwind.css and paste that in there. So it's going to get our base components and utilities. If you just want one or two, you can just put those in. And then we will copy and paste these scripts, just blindly following whatever they want us to do. Put a comma, paste, and it's not going to like this comma, so make sure you delete that and also delete this build up there. Uh, that build will still be run down here, but it's just going to run the build tailwind as well. Okay, so save that. Okay, then finally we'll need to copy and paste this into our source slash template file, which is up here, source template, and just copy and paste that right in there. Okay, so we should be good to go. It wants us to npm install uh, one more time to make sure we have everything there. And then what you're going to need to do is open a new terminal window. You can use command T and you're going to run npm run watch tailwind in one of them and npm run dev in the other one. So let me see if that's done. Yep. So I'm going to do npm run dev in this one and then I'm going to do npm run watch tailwind in this one. So this will make sure that the tailwind, whenever you add a class to one of your components, it'll update it in your project. Okay, so let me come to localhost 3000. Oops, that's not what I wanted. 3000. Okay, and here we have it. And for some reason, once you've added um, Tailwind, it pushes this image over. I don't know why, but if you know, you can let me know. Um, okay, so I'm going to add a. Um, I'm going to add to one of my routes the index.svelte. I'm going to add a Tailwind class. So let's say here, class equals bg purple 700, and maybe we want the text to be white. So save that. And the first time, okay, cool, it's working. So now we have our Tailwind CSS right there, and you can go ahead and add whatever classes you want. So maybe, let's see, make this reactive. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe when it's smaller, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but on a medium size screen or on a small screen, we want the BG purple uh, 100. 
and we want on a small screen text to be black. Okay, so is it going to update? Did it update? Yep, there we go. And now you see on a medium screen it is smaller. Wait. Oh, okay, so I guess small and up is going to have this, and maybe we want this to only be on like a uh, medium up. Okay, so if, sorry, does that make sense? Like, um, so small screens and larger are going to have this, and then everything smaller than small is going to have this. So I'm not sure what the cutoff for small is, but there might be like um, extra small or something. Um, let me see what it says. <clears throat> small min width 640. So I guess when I get less than 640, it becomes uh, this thing here. Okay, so you can play with that, or, uh, play around with that. And I found that the best way to learn Tailwind is just have this open, and whenever you want to add another class, you just gotta search for it. Um, I'll make a video where I go through more of the classes, but that will be all for now.